of his players facing separate charges of hitting women in the face, FSU coach Jimbo Fisher made a public vow, quote, he said, we will do better. To deliver on that pledge, Fisher met with players over the weekend and told them bars are now off limits for them. The get tough attitude from the coach began when this video was made public showing quarterback DeAndre Johnson, who's from Jacksonville, punching a woman at a Tallahassee bar. Fisher has kicked Johnson off the team, even while a battery charge is still pending. Then last Friday, star running back Dalvin Cook turned himself in, also to face a battery charge. He's accused of hitting a woman several times outside of a bar last month. Today, FSU's president, John Thrasher, addressed the team 48 hours after Fisher's bar ban began. Kent's joining us now with a look at how local universities handle discipline for athletes. Kent? Yeah, Florida State's reputation gets a, a black eye, if you will, when athletes make bad decisions, not the least of which would be getting into a bar fight with a woman. Well, Jacksonville University and University of North Florida say that their codes of conduct apply to all students, including athletes. A former athletic director explains why you might think there's a double standard with what's going on with the bar ban at FSU. You represent our athletic department. You represent our university. Um, we won't tolerate these, these certain kind of actions. Alan Verlander spent about 15 years involved with college athletics, including time as the athletic director of Jacksonville University. The executive director of the Jacksonville Sports Council now says it's tough to worry about all the athletes in your program or on your team, but that is the job. You see uh, President Thrasher coming out saying, you know, I, am, I, I do not tolerate anything like this. So it's, um, you know, it's just this entitlement generation that we're going to have to deal with, and you're going to see more and more of this. We asked JU and University of North Florida for how they deal with student athletes and referred to what Florida State is going through. UNF's Lee Moon told us in an email, the athletic department at the University of North Florida doesn't have a formal policy regarding our athletes visiting bars. However, the university encourages our student athletes and all our students to obey the law and to display good character and judgment at all times. A JU spokesman sent us this statement, the university's code of conduct calls for behavior that demonstrates respect for oneself respect for others, respect for property, respect for authority, and honesty. Violations of any rules and regulations relating to the student's constitutes conduct for which students may be disciplined, whether such conduct occurs on or off campus. So, does the discipline at FSU fit the crime? Verlander says team building is the reason it seems appropriate to him. It's accountability. So because maybe the actions of a very few are going to penalize the rest. And so um, I think what you'll see is the team come together. And that's what you hope as a coach is that these certain things, um, your team really rallies around that. Verlander says that he applauds Jimbo Fisher for acting quickly, quickly, that is proactively. He also says coaches like Fisher spend as much time as risk managers for their programs as they do work in the X's and O's of the game. Mary and Tom. Thanks, Ken.